Okay, let's talk a little bit about your aspirations, Mr. Tilsley. Tell me about a situation, real or fictional, when you were happiest. My, my, my ultimate fantasy. Uh, a house is literally burning. Roy Keane's little girl's trapped inside. People are, are frantic. The mother's screaming. Kino's pissed off. Uh, then I come over and I say, Stand back! Clive's here. Uh, I go over to the front door and uh, I kick it in with an assured right cross. The hallway's actually decorated very tastefully, but I can still hear the little girl sobbing in the bathroom. So I keep fighting on, even though the hall is now literally engulfed by smoke. French, 19th century old beams keep forming in my way, but I keep fighting on, breaking through the last line of defence. And finally, I find the girl hiding under the sink, probably, probably holding on to her favourite doll or something, and I say to her, don't worry, Clive's here, it's, it's going to be okay. So I, I pick her up with one hand and uh, start fighting my way back through the burning house. The walls are crackling, and I can, I can taste the smouldering of burning rubber in the back of my throat. But I keep fighting on, and as we head goal boundwards, I can hear the crowd outside chanting, Tilled sleep, tilled sleep. Finally, I emerge from the, uh, the burning house, just as it appears to be buckling under the inferno, and the crowd goes wild! Run, no. Roy, Roy, Roy comes up to me and he takes his little girl in one hand and he offers me the other. And he says to me, no, 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 he doesn't say anything. He just, he just gives me a look. I look as if to say, you're done good, kid. You're done good. said what they told me, read what they told me. He'd know. So I, I took it. I, I took the biscuit. And if he were here, he'd have told me as much, but I knew that you don't get points for possession. You only get points for perfection. And I was all error-strewn and nerve-ridden, all expectation, anticipation, and defecation. Without him, no one holds out a brief candle. And I suppose it's clear to all eyes how an old man lacks helpers. But the square root of one is one, and the square root of I is I, I. No, no I, no I in team. No one in team either. No one O N E. E to Obersunum. Two become one, but not in this team. Never had. Time for fancy teamwork, footwork, finger work. Work is freedom, the freedom to tell it as I saw it. My own personal perception, the antithesis and anathema of Corinthian standards. For if you cut me, do I not bleed red? The true chosen ones forever marching on in that self same red, the red of a sepia sangria, a Spanish sunset, a bloodshot Stratford.
my praise is too easily smoothed over by my voice's plain. But what of me? More mundane, maybe. But why is that such a bad thing? I mean, he was, he was self-raising. He excelled and was never so wholesome, but he was an angry man when he crossed the white line. Maybe, well maybe you need to be more mediocre to survive. Survival of the faintest, and mine mine was one size faints all. The triumph, the triumph is that of ubiquity over uniquity. If I, if I demonstrated so little skill was, was so plain, it, it let me limp on. He was off at half time, sent off for bad behavior. He did his best, but even he couldn't quite bring it under his spell. Growing in stature, with his every deed, it just made the fall all the harder. Better for me, though. Better to be a, a disembodied voice. Like, like a prayer being offered to some higher force. Better to be heard and not seen. And seen and no longer heard. Better to suggest to some phantom voice than to be the, uh, the ghost of the beast. What must he be thinking? Ah, oh, well, with the greatest respect, who cares? I mean, who will ever know? It falls to me to interpret the facts. First, then second, and then, finally, the fall of man. A chance for all? Well, maybe, but of all the people, he wanted that chance to fall to. This was the man that got what he wanted. Hey. They call me a word. Descriptive. But that's my job, description. I describe what you see the way I see. I see what I say. No. No, no, I, I say what I see. I mean, they said to me, say what you see. When you see it, say it, you see? So, uh, the word, the description, I, I'll describe the word for you now. Normally I'd remember it. I'd remember it for you so whole. You'd know, you know? The word, uh, an adjective of a remark or a, a, an idea lacking originality or, or freshness. Sometimes I feel dull. Dull on account of overuse. But overused to... to what? What?! Extra time! <laughs> Don't you dare send those children to bed. Look at all those players. Contacts, and contrasts, and contracts, all that paper, all those words. And they offered to keep paying me, to keep me on. And if he were here, and I'd be able to think clearly, I'd have said that no price is too high for the privilege of owning oneself. But, but who am I? He had the voice, the voice of so, so, so late they came in yesterday and so fast he couldn't find his own feet. And over how he was dismissed, well, I shouldn't laugh, but I want to.